meters, relays. And first of all, it's the women's race. From the inside, Germany, France, Russia, Great Britain, Jamaica, the United States, the Czech Republic, and Switzerland. Americans, probably the favorites from the Russians. Gwen Torrance leads off for the USA. Yelena Ruzina for Russia in between them. Great Britain led off by Linda Keogh and Jamaica led off by Beverly Grant. Well, Gwen Torrance is already running really well. A great sprinter, of course, at 100 and 200 meters. And she's certainly one of the world's best 400 meter runners as well. One of the few women to have been able to run inside 50 seconds. And if she can keep this pace up, she's gonna give the USA a very big lead indeed. Ruzina of Russia is left well back. So too is Grant of Jamaica, Linda Keogh of Great Britain. They're all trailing in the wake of Gren Torrance, who is showing that if she'd run the individual 400 meters, I think she'd have taken the gold in that race. But uh, what a lead she's got on the rest of the field. And we're interested to see a time on this for her as Torrance hands on now to Maisel Malone. And the time for Torrance, 49.1 absolutely staggering well Gwen Torrance has given the Americans a solar lead here that is going to be desperately hard to co to claw back the Russians here with Alex Xavier has got a what almost a 20 yard deficit here on Malone of the United States and once you get that sort of gap it really is so difficult to uh, to make any impression and a great race for third at the moment there was in S Turner of Jamaica and now Phyllis Smith is running a storming race to come into third place but the americans are well ahead but alex server has probably clawed back just a little bit of the ground here on maysel malone the former world student games champion she will hand over to the individual silver medalist natasha kaiser brown for russia it'll be margarita ponomarieva the bronze medalist in the 400 meter hurdles tracy goddard takes over for great britain then it's jamaica then germany Still uh, very close indeed. Tracy Goddard, probably the weakest of the three British runners. And Dion Hemmings goes for Jamaica, who ran in the final of the 400 meter hurdles. But here is Kaiser Brown, who is so impressive to reduce her personal best in the individual race. Giving chase is Ponomarieva, uh, a, a fine flat runner as well. Here is Goddard, who's doing really well to hold off Hemmings, with the Germans now quite close up in third place. Anja Rucker runs for them. But there's still this big lead from the USA. The USA from Russia. And the time is really fast. Malone's leg, uh, 49.5 after Torrance had run 49.1. And Kaiser Brown running really hard to hand over to the individual champion, Joel Miles. For the USA, Privalova takes over. And Goddard's done well to give Sally Gunnell the baton running against the individual bronze medalist, Sandy Richards. Well, Miles is away. Kaiser Brown's leg there was 49.4. The USA are on the way to gold. And even Pravalova, who recently ran the 400 meters in under 50 seconds, is surely not going to be able to close the gap down on Jill Miles. Sally Gunnell, the 400 meter hurdles champion, is now tucking in very sensibly behind Sandy Richards. And she's got such strength that she can probably claw back that gap. We'll see in a moment as Jill Miles comes into the home straight powering away from the USA, running really hard, not looking back, not easing up in any way. Privalova is running very fast indeed, but can do nothing to close the gap. Joel Miles is bringing the USA at home team in a very fast time, a new championship record of 316.72. Russia got the silver, and here is Sally Gunnell running well, indeed brilliantly, to give the bronze medal to Britain just ahead of Jamaica, with the Germans coming home in fifth place, then France and the Czech Republic and Switzerland. Well, the American team they each ran under 50 seconds. I clocked Joel Miles there in 48.7. And the British team can be well satisfied indeed. Phyllis Smith there in the headbound, who was injured and not able to run in the individual event, was fit enough for the relay. But Steve, the US were brilliant. They really were. And I think that uh, they've got to give all credit to Gwen Torrance for that first leg. It really was destructive. From then on in, it was just a matter of keeping that lead going. And when you've got the backup there on the last two legs of Kaiser Brown and Miles, one and two in the individual four. You can't ask for more than that. Superb performance. Winning time, three minutes, 16.71, a new championship record. So that's two gold medals then for Jill Miles, both the individual and the relay. Look at the time, she says. Well, they might. Three minutes, 16.71. The Russians set a national record for the still looking forward with keen anticipation to this men's four by 400. Running in lane five, the USA are one of the clearest shots for a gold medal we've seen. But what time will they do? In the full lineup, Russia, Jamaica, Kenya, 
Germany, the USA in five, Cuba, France, and Bulgaria. The US led off by Andrew Valmont. Germans led off by Rico Lida. Kennedy Ochieng goes for Kenya, who were probably the favorite for the silver medal. And Lida has gone off really fast for Germany in lane four, but outside him still is Andrew Valmont. And Valman is going because the U.S. are undoubtedly going for the world record here. That's a tough one. That was set at 2 minutes 55.74 in the Olympics. And it's a great record. Let's see how they can fare. But Valman has given them the sort of start they need. Ochien going for Kenya in three. O'Connor for Jamaica in lane two. But here comes Andrew Valman eating up the stagger of Ivan Garcia of Cuba. France going well, further out, but Valmont is going to hand over in the lead for the USA. It's going to be the US on their own from here. Valmont handing over to the Olympic champion, Quincy Watts, who was out of the medals in the individual event, only fourth, and he's building up a huge lead. But they're settling in close behind, and the crowd giving great support because they can see that Carsten Use of Germany is in second place. Well, Watts really going hard for this here. The Russians closing up on the Germans. The Kenyans have now come through to their second place. Simon Kemboy goes for them. But Watts has got something like 20 meters. Well, you get the feeling now that the Americans are going all out. Sometimes relays can coast through. But when you've got a quartet like these four, I get sensing that they're going to go for this world record. They've got the capability. Look at that gap already. This is only the second leg, don't forget. And look how far they're ahead of the rest of the world. Well, look at that time, 1.28.03, I clocked Valmont in 44.5, that means Watts ran 43.5. They're storming away, and now you've got the world record holder on the third leg, Butch Reynolds, look at the determination on this man's face, they're almost 60 or so yards in front of the Germans coming through hard, the crowd are going berserk about that, but up front we're on for a world record, look at that gap, it's staggering, Butch Reynolds is piling it on around that top bend. Hey, there's a good race going on for second place though behind them look at this the germans and the french and then the kenyans but now we concentrate as butch reynolds will hand over to michael johnson oh, on that time 2 11 36 that means that reynolds has run a 43 three leg well the world record is on now johnson is almost sure to get it he only needs about uh, 44 three for the world record and that's well within his capabilities he ran 43-6 in the individual event. He's got a flying start this time. But that battle is still on behind for the other medals. Here's the Russians, then the Germans, Kenya, Jamaica, Cuba. They're all in contention. First of all, we're looking at Michael Johnson, this brilliant sprinter who's moved up from 200 meters. And here's the battle on for the other placings. The Kenyans coming up. The Germans going really well. Thomas Schoen Labour on the last leg for them. Samson Kitter goes for Kenya. And here comes Johnson. The world record has been smashed by a second and a half as the battle is on for the other medals. And Kenya take it on the line with the Germans getting the bronze. And France a fourth with Russia fifth. There are congratulations all round. But this is the performance of the championships. A great world record has been smashed by a minute and a half. And Johnson's last leg was 42. 0.93, far and away the fastest a man has ever run 400 meters. Well, that must be a staggering performance as we watch now. This is the chase on for the uh, silver medals. Couture there of Kenya takes the silver, but Sean Labour, Thomas Sean Labour there of Germany takes the bronze, and that's a fitting end for a fantastic championships here that Germany get a medal in the 4x4. But this man, Michael Johnson, has just run 42.9 seconds. I'll say that again, 42.9 seconds. That is the fastest time a human being has ever run a 400 meters. And that was the anchor leg of a quartet that had run 44.5 for Valmont, 43.6 for Watts, 43.2 for Reynolds, giving a new world record of over one and a half seconds faster than the previous record of two minutes, 54.29 seconds. That has got to be the performance of the championships. Absolutely staggering. Well, they're going round for another lap. They've got time. After running like that, they've got time to take another two laps round. Two minutes, 54.29. Then Kenya and Germany and national records then for France and Russia in a great race for the other.